Hello, welcome to the video series for the subject, Fundamentals of Economics, EEC, 11. This video focuses, on the second chapter of the subject. In this video we are going to take a look at, the concept of market in economics. If you have any questions regarding the topic, feel free to ask your questions in the comments sections below. The concept of market in economics. In ordinary language, by market we mean the place where goods and services are bought and sold. However, the meaning of market in economics is different. By market an economist would mean a complex set of activities by which potential buyers are brought into contact with potential sellers in the process of purchase and sales of goods and services. When two or more individuals undertake exchange transactions, a market is established irrespective of time and place. The physical presence of buyers and sellers are not at all relevant in the economist's conception of market. Due to the development of modern mode of communication based on computer technology, physical presence is not required for establishing a market. What is more relevant is that there must exist two groups of transactors who are willing to undertake exchange transactions. The essential characteristic of a market is the confrontation between potential buyers and potential sellers, making bids and offers in the process of determining the terms at which exchange would take place. The emphasis is on the word potential. Everyone comes to the market with his or her notion of how much to buy or sell depending on the prevailing prices. If the prevailing price of a good is high, those who have made plans to buy at a lower price will be priced out of the market. Similarly, if price is low those sellers who plan to sell at higher prices will be eliminated from the market. Activities on a market would determine what the price will be, what quantities will be bought and sold, and who the buyers and sellers are. In a market-based economy, it is through the market that resources get allocated among competing ends. Markets in economics vary from perfectly competitive, to monopoly, to imperfectly competitive, to monopolistically competitive, to oligopolistically competitive. The existence of markets provides efficiency in the use of resources. In economies where markets do not exist, resources cannot be used efficiently. Markets provide information required for making optimal decisions. The kind of information provided by a market would pertain to the nature of goods traded, the prices prevailing, and who the transactors are. No other information is transmitted by the market. Also information transmitted by markets would be costless, though for many goods one has to spend money, time, and efforts to acquire the relevant market information. Modern modes of telecommunication make information gathering, storing and processing much easier. This surely must have improved the quality of decision making. Markets can exist and function efficiently if and only if there exist ownership rights in commodities, property rights, which are well defined, transferable and are protected by the laws of the country. Ownership rights or property rights imply that the individual owning a commodity can take certain actions with respect to that commodity. Such rights include the right to allow access to the commodity on the part of any other individuals, and also include the right to charge others for the use of the commodity or service as well as transferring the ownership of the commodity to someone else. As Quirk says, what is produced, exchanged, and consumed in a society are bundles of property rights that we call commodities. The pattern of economic activity within a society is closely linked to the structure of property rights of that society, because it is through the acquisition of property rights that self-interest is expressed and incentives operate. This was a brief lecture based on the basic economic concepts, we will continue this tutorial over next lecture, with more additional topics, check out the link below for the next tutorial video, if you want a video tutorial about a specific topic, 
you can request below in comments. If you have any questions regarding the topic, feel free to ask your questions in the comments sections below. Click subscribe button to follow this course and to get notified when the next lecture video gets out.